All right, today I'm going to show you a cheap way to CC some cylinder heads. Okay, these, these are some 862s uh, my brother-in-law had 40 thousandths taken off of. And uh, I've got a little syringe here. I don't remember exactly what it's from. Uh, I do know, like, Infant Tylenol has a syringe. It's 5cc that you could use. This one's graduated to 12. I uh, cut a pe clear piece of plex here so I can see what's going on. With a little hole in the top, you bring the bring the hole all the way to the top, and you count the volume. I did this with my Beretta years ago, and it worked mint. So it should work here. So draw the draw the water in. You get your air bubble up here. Oh, can't see. Get rid of the air bubble. There we go. Look and see where we are. So I'm just past 12. So I'll go to 10 for this first one. So when I inject this in, there'll be 10 cc's. And you just keep counting. This clear plex is sealed with just wheel bearing grease. You can seal it with just about anything, but wheel bearing grease is an easy way to do it. Okay, yeah, that one worked better. So there we're at 10 cc's again. So now we got 20 cc's in this head. Oh, make sure you put in a spark plug. Otherwise, this ain't gonna work. Here's 40 cc's. Now these are 862's that are like 60 or 61 cc's. We'll see what 40,000 takes off of. Okay, so here we're getting close. Okay. So we got three cc's left, which means this should be a 57 cc head now. And I think there's 60 or 61 or something from the factory. That's how easy it is. As you can see here, I filled it up till it just got to the hole there. And that'll be reasonably accurate. It'll give you a pretty good idea on your compression ratio. And just as a double check here, what I'm going to do is check another cylinder. All right, I got some fresh grease on there. Cleaned up my disc. And throw this on and check the next one. We can do these 12 cc's at a time, a little quicker. Okay, we're at 48 cc's now. Okay, yeah, so I'm seeing between three or four left, which puts us at 56 or 57 cc's. When I tested this one here, I got 57, so it's pretty close as far as a, uh, as far as being able to verify what we had before. Okay, so I did the math on these. So if you take one of these 862 or 706 heads and shave them 40 thousandths like we did here, uh, you take the combustion chamber from about 61 cc to about 57 and basically what that does is make a 4.8 or a 5.3 10 to 1 compression instead of 9.5 to 1. Um, if you put 4.8 pistons and a 5.3 you're actually 11 to 1 compression ratio and if you do it on a 6.0 which has bigger heads to start with so you put the smaller cc heads on that are shaved to be even smaller then you're talking 11 to 1 for that also. Uh, and on a 6.0, you have the choice of putting the LQ9 pistons in, which will give you like 12 to 1. 
So these heads are going on. My brother-in-law is 5'3". He's doing a sloppy stage 2 cam with it. Um, and we're going to check piston to valve clearance, all that stuff, make sure it's good. And as long as it's good, I'm going to do the same thing with my 4.8 by the time I put the cam in it. I'm going to get running the Beretta first, just factory. So i got enough rear-wheel drive conversion stuff to deal with first. Um, but as long as that's all good, I'm going to pop the uh, 4.8 out of there again, put the sloppy stage 2 cam in it, and I might as well shave the heads while I'm at it because I looked at the dynamic compression ratio of what the 4.8 would be with these shaved heads at 10 to 1 static uh, and then the sloppy stage 2 cam and it's less dynamic compression ratio than the 357 that I built for my truck years ago because uh, I, I want to run 87 that's another thing I'm going to pound on it and have a lot of fun but I want it to be cheap uh, and my truck that I built uh, I ran 87 towing towing stuff no problems no pinging and that had a higher dynamic compression ratio that was 9.7 when I built it and the, uh, the DCR was higher on that than it will be on this 4.8 so in a light car with less dynamic compression, I will be golden on 87 uh, to run 10 to 1 with that sloppy cam. But that will be in another video along with this. <laughs> so I got an LS Trans comparison. That's an SM465. Going to go in the Blazer, NV3500s, T5, T56s. I'm going to compare all those with the information on them. And then I also have to swap this LS1 Trans to an LT1 style and vice versa. So uh, I can use the LT style in the Camaro here and the LS in the Beretta.